Hello, my fiery friends, the Inferno Man here with the question I want to ask all of you. Now that Arena has added in a handful of pre-constructed decks to purchase with gems, are they worth buying to play with in Arena? Good question! Well, we're actually going to answer that question today. As you can see on screen, I actually do not have all of them on here because technically I already own all the cards for the Dinosaur Precon, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Rather, I'm going to instead discuss is the value of these worth it for the purchase price? Are they even actually fun to play with? So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's purchase each of these decks right now and see what they are all about. But before we continue, if you do like any of the content that I do, please like, follow, and subscribe wherever you watch the content. You can support me monthly for a small amount on Patreon where I have all of my extended bonus footage posted. Or for free, all you can just do also is just join our growing community on Discord. Your support helps keep this channel going. All links are in the details below. To begin, there will be five different decks that you can purchase on Arena. First one will be Foundation Deck, Standard Dinosaurs. Second deck is Champion Deck, Standard Toxic. And we have three Brawl decks. First one is Starter Deck, Zada, Hedron, Grinder, Brawl. Second one is Foundation Deck, Ariat of the Charmed Apple Brawl. And the third one is Foundation Deck, Alchemy, Ryu, Storm's Edge Brawl. Now, keep in mind that if you actually do want to make any purchases for these, if you do actually own any of the cards for any of these pre-cons, the actual price of the deck does actually get reduced across the board, so it's actually going to be scaled appropriately, so you actually do not have to worry about duplicates, and also this means that you actually can get a much more cheaper deck here that almost has everything you need right from the get-go without having to invest too much into any of these. You can even see right here prior to the purchase itself what exactly you're going to be missing versus what's going to be already owned in your collection. So as you can see right here for this example here, Ryu Storm's Edge, I mostly have pretty much almost all the cards that would have made up this pre-con, but you can actually see right here at the top what exactly am I missing to just round it out and exactly what am I purchasing for the amount of gems that's left over. In order to break these down as easy as possible, and also to kind of give you a quick little analysis of how I feel about the decks, as you can see right now, I'm actually going to buy all of these decks, or at least what are the remaining cards I need to actually put these together and play with them. So as you can see on top, yes, I'm actually going to spend the remainder of my gems just to make these all work. <laughs> And then once you make your purchases for all these pre-cons, you'll see them pop up in your actual My Decks section, so you'll be able to see all of them here. So that's otherwise the good part of all of this. Now, here comes the bad part. I'm still going to try to keep this brief because we don't want to divulge too much into this, but here's where things get disingenuous with Wizards. Originally, when I actually started recording this, I didn't realize that the prices that they show on the news article on Wizards' official site is based upon the sales numbers. In other words, those are cheaper prices. The real prices, as you saw when I was talking at the beginning of the video, were the actual full price decks. So in other words, on the website, Dinos was originally showing at 5,310 gems. The real price, and I didn't show you in the video because I actually own those cards, is already 9,190 gems. Toxic is, oh my goodness here, it's actually 16,165 gems full price on the Wizards website if it was to go on sale on Arena will be 11,280. Zada is 3,335 from the screenshot you can see here and on the website on sale it'd be 2,000 210. Ariette will be 8,850, and if it goes on sale on Arena, 4,480. Ryu will be 9,820, and again, on sale, it'll be 4,320. I'm not going to do all the actual math of how much that actually is in actual like dollar amounts or whatever currency you use in your respective countries, but I'll be honest, just flat out, Full price? These are not worth it. I'm sorry. Like, if any of you out there want to actually pay that price, that is on you. The only reason why I paid for these was it only costed me just the remaining 1,000 plus gems because I own like 98% of the cards. So I was only buying these just to show you and gameplay footage as you're seeing right here. Are these decks actually fun to play? So the sad part is these decks actually are kind of fun and I actually had a lot of enjoyment out of playing it even if it was just for a short time. I'll probably put on my Patreon just a little bit of extra gameplay footage so if you want to check that out I'll throw it up there. I'll even put it up there for free. You don't have to be a member if you aren't just to see the gameplay footage. If you just want to at least see what these decks are capable of. But it kind of sours me because again like 16,000 gems is a lot already, and even if it was on a discount of 11,000, that's still too much even for what they consider a champion deck. And I'm assuming they're using that phrase because Toxic is technically a competitive deck, but it's not a tier 1 deck at all. Even if it was, say, like the best deck in Arena, 
do not pay 16,000 plus gems. Your gems are way better spent on something else. I would actually just, just blow it all on packs or at least some sealed uh, draft for arena. It, again, it's just not worth it, everybody. If Again, one more time, if you do want to pay these prices, that is your money. I will not stop you on that. But I'm saying for your own benefit and for getting the best value, because the whole purpose of my channel is getting you the most value out of the decks without having to spend too much, is avoid these prices at all costs. Even if they are discounted, the stretch, I would say, is maybe, just maybe, if it's a discount for 2,000 plus gems, Zada is probably the only one I would consider, and that's only because I'm interested in upgrading that down the line. But otherwise, you realistically could get these all for much more if you just buy packs and everything. And that's basically just my small rant on that one, everybody. One of the things that you can do is, if you want to help me out, and again, I'm not going to charge you anything for it, just check out any one of my other videos where I show you a ton of decks across all the formats on Arena, where you can just spend a small amount of rares or mythics to make some really fun decks and super budget. And even if you don't want to spend any rares or mythics, I have a whole series already on 60 card decks just ready to go that are super budget friendly for the Explorer format, and you can upgrade them if you'd like to with anything else you'd like to do for other formats. This could have been a home run for Wizards, and it really saddens me that not only one, the deck choices are a little interesting, but I'm guessing because they say foundation deck, that's probably gonna be something that you will see in the upcoming MTG Foundations in November, but we'll worry about that when we get there. Save up your gems for something else that you might have more fun with. Instead, just check out another video that I would probably recommend for you on this channel just to get you to go in if you actually want to get started on your collection and save up everything you can for something that you really really want to use these are way too expensive and even if they were discounted i probably still wouldn't buy these anyway but if you do choose any of the budget decks that i have on my channel i assure you you'll have a lot more fun with those versus spending all the gems that you could have on any one of these decks and you'll definitely not be disappointed that's all i have for you today thanks again for watching everyone and just remember that no matter what you do play in the game of life, always be sure to burn bright. Later!